and that's really where the Simakan prophecies came from, where the desire was to take, you know, every myth, every huge uh, pop culture thing, every sort of classic book that had influenced me, and out of those to build something that was new, and also did a few things that I think I found missing in the fantasy books or the books of that kind that I'd read, which is the, you know, the non-white heroes, or just, just turning a lot of these classic things on their head and seeing what happens. For me, it was uh, uh, being able to just lead multiple lives at the same time. Um, and, you know, just to have, therefore, to sort of collectively have more time to do all the things that I want and also to do all the things that I don't get to do. Um, every fable, every every myth, uh, things like The Lord of the Rings, things like Terry Pratchett's Discworld, which was a huge, huge, huge influence on my first few books. I read these and was transported immediately. But for me, you know, the, the understanding of genre was not there. Like, I did not see how these stories were different in a in a significant way from something like Enid Blyton's books. Because the famous five eating tongue sandwiches in Cornwall was as alien to me as uh, Bilbo Baggins wandering out of the shower. Anytime there's one success in any field, that becomes the industry's favorite thing for the next year so the moment let's say you know the moment one horror novel about a three-headed man from bhopal becomes big immediately 50 other writers will sell horror novels about three-headed men from bhopal you know and it'll become ancient wisdom that of course in india only these things work and you won't you've written a novel about uh, four-headed men from bhopal no no that that doesn't work in india in art communities, everyone prospers more when you sort of work together behind the scenes, when you promote one another's work, when you kind of try and help out in, you know, in any way possible. And I have to say that in India, we don't have anything like uh, that kind of culture in the book space. Maybe it's starting now. I think things have gotten a little better over the last five or six years, maybe the last decade even. So I think... People who are younger, like people who are now in their 20s and 30s, uh, are going to have to be a lot less toxic uh, and a lot less competitive and a lot more supportive of one another.